let's talk about harmonic functions. These are impartial differential equations. So the partial differential equation written as partial derivative of u, second partial derivative of u with respect to x plus partial differential of u with respect to y, the second partial, equals to zero. This equation is called the Laplace equation. The Laplace equation. Like any equation, our goal is to find the solution for this equation. The goal is to find the solution or solutions for any equation. It happens that the solution for this specific equation are functions that we call harmonic functions. The solutions for this equation are called harmonic functions. Okay. So we introduce Laplace equation, which is this equation here. The solution for this equation are called harmonic functions. For example, show that u of x and y equals to e to power x sine y are the solution of the Laplace equation. Very good. We need to show that the second partial derivatives satisfy the equation. Okay, this is the function that I try to plug in here. I need to find the second partial derivative of this function. Partial derivative of u with respect to x is going to be e to the x sine y. The second partial derivative of u with respect to x is again e to the x sine y. So, so far I found the first portion, which is e to the x sine y. Where now, partial derivative of u with respect to y is e to the x cosine y. Cosine y. Now the second partial derivative of u with respect to y, e to the x, the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So I have a negative sign in front of e to the x and sine y. Well, guys, I found these two portions. Left side has the summation of these two functions. So 
cell, the second partial derivative of u with respect to x plus the second partial derivative of u with respect to y becomes e to the x sine y minus e to the x sine y. The difference between opposite terms is zero. Left side and right side, they are equal to each other. So we just showed that u, which is e to the x sine y, is harmonic function. 